to the Arcade Saga. My name is Jokjan Wiesma, also known as ETA. So yes, this is my blooming update, and I thought just to set the tone, let's start with this one. <laughs> I know it's done blooming, but I will put up a picture by now because it's so beautiful. And I was looking forward to these blooms for uh, two years. It's a very uh, young plant, but it uh, did bloom for the first time this year. It just didn't make the blooming update. But like I said, it's just too good to be true and uh, not to share. Not <laughs> it's not too good to be true, but not too good to be shared. And this is uh, the name. This is the uh, Cattleya Dawaniana variety Aurea. So yeah, a lot of growers have this one and I completely understand why it's such a beauty. So uh, yeah, that's why a little update on that one. Let's move, to, move over to this uh, area. Because here we have my uh, golden peacock in bloom. So we have some blooms over here, a new, beautiful spike and a longer one over here. And a few more blooms. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure why, but I always lose some buds. And I have always some open, but yeah. Whatever I do, I spray it for thrips. But uh, yeah, sadly I always lose a few. But nonetheless, it looks beautiful. So golden peacock over here. Then up here, we still have some blooms on my uh, uh, sea breeze. There it is. As you can see, they are getting older. Beautiful fragrance on this one. Absolutely beautiful. But uh, there were some blooms still left. Then down here, this one also has two blooms left. They are also going over, but it's these are so beautiful. Here they are. My, my, my ray, I think. Let's take here, my ray. Marais. I'm not good in pronouncing the names, I apologize. <laughs> but this is also very pretty. So I had three more spikes. So I had five blooms this year on this one. Very beautiful. Then the green hornet one, uh, the epidendrum, I believe it's now called, is also in bloom again. Also very pretty, I believe. Um, I think, yes, over here my Wilbur Chang has a bloom open as well. This one has been in bloom for months and months. <laughs> Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. And these guys are still around. This one uh, blooms for quite a while. The Brazzavola Cucolata. Beautiful, very nice shape. I know I keep saying it, but it, I, I really think these blooms are beautiful. As are these, look at this. Three blooms and that lip, the throat on the lip. Spectacular, absolutely beautiful. This is Golden Tang HR, H&R, BLC, Golden Tang. Yeah, I, uh, I really, really love the lip on this one. Oh, beautiful. Let me quickly check. Oh yeah, we have this one. Just opening up, this will look very similar to the Golden Peacock. Within a few days or a week or so, it will turn quite orange. This is uh, Enchiclefola Jerry Canary Orange. And this one I split up. And I did send a piece to Inse. So Inse, if you're watching this, this is uh, how it starts blooming. But it will turn more orange. And I think they are very, very, very uh, nice blooms. So that is this one. Moving uh, along, we have still some fells in bloom. Even though it's quite warm these days. And I found that the fells do not really like a very hot weather. Indian summer. I'm not sure if you hear that, but that's our cat. <laughs> In the background, I have the door a little bit open. She's an old cat. She uh, makes some noises <laughs> sometimes. This very, very beautiful Miltonia. Still in bloom. Look at the amount. We have a few that are going over. You probably saw this up close as well in my uh, comparison video. Uh, Miltonia, Miltonia faces Miltoniopsis. 
yeah absolutely beautiful i love love the colors on this one and down here i probably the biggest miltonia i have I think it's a form of Ragnellia. It's starting to open up blooms. And these were the first. This one was the first, actually. You can see it. Uh, well, actually, this better in frame. But this is the bloom. Beautiful. So, yeah, quite an amount to come yet. You can see all the spikes. We have you know, even a bloom over here. This is going to be in the next one, I'm pretty sure. And it's going to be good. This one is not there yet. This one is... Also still in bloom, it was also in my uh, earlier updates. And yeah, it's so beautiful this one as well. Yeah, I love the colors on this. And there in the back, I have a sunset in bloom. Let me zoom in a little bit. I call this my spotted one. So you see some spots in the yellow parts of this bloom. It's something this one does. So that's my... Uh, Sunset spotted one because up here these blooms are very old you can see and faded but this one doesn't show the spots and right next to it this is just open up the first one for this year look at this beauty oh it's such a huge plant and so many spikes this is going to be good very good but look at that bloom it's the Moriana Spectabile it's, it's uh, very velvety, absolutely beautiful. So yes, the first one, the first one. And next to it you can see, maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I think then it will be open as well. So the first blooms are there. Uh, and then we have this beautiful brushy. Yeah, it's Orange Delight. Quite some blooms there in the back and we have even more over here. Well, that spike is done, but down there is the newest spike opening up. But here is it up close. I mean, yeah, this is my favorite among the, amongst the, the Borussia types that I have. Beautiful. And then over here I have my Ferona in bloom. Borussia Ferona. Obelara. No, I'm confused. I'm sorry. Arca Quest, I just uh, messaged you that I had a Veronium Bloom. It's not. It's a Bialara Torero. That is this one. I apologize. So you probably saw my Ferreira. And yes, you did, did see the Ferreira in bloom. I always confuse these two. It's so, I, I, I'm sorry. This is not uh, the Ferreira. Verona, I'm sorry. I don't have in bloom. I apologize. These names, you guys. <laughs> but that is this one. Up here we still have some blooms on the uh, Schulep Tolkien. Oh, it's hard to see. Yeah, there we go. Because of this, the sun is shining. <laughs> but yeah, you can see this coloration already. So oh, already this one has been in bloom for quite a while. But yeah, it's going over now. And here we have some dendrobiums. I will go over them a little bit quicker. My last video was uh, quite in detail on these guys. But nonetheless, they are blooming. And whoops, Miltonia in the way <laughs> behind me. The um, Rene Marquez flamethrower put up some blooms, and I have still some blooms left on my Mystic Maze over here. But down there, you can see it's starting to go over. Well, I'll be here. <laughs> my uh, Epidendrum, the white one, no ID blooming the yellow one has still some blooms over there plus the red one I hope you don't mind doing this these in one shot there are so many and I don't want to make these videos too long even though we all enjoy them spring eclipse is also in my update and we have here a purple one I have no name for this one and a snow jade behind it also a very lovely bloom. So that is in bloom now. That wasn't in bloom last week, but it's now. This one was in bloom last week. Polar fire. And uh, that one. And these guys were also in bloom. Still beautiful. This one can be in bloom for very long. And then this one. Oh, whoops, right behind these guys. Let me see if I can zoom in. I need to make some room here. 
some way or another. <laughs> Look at these. Absolutely beautiful. A different shape bloom, but the colors are so beautiful as well. And a green splash. That's a spike of her, but also this one. It's a bit easier to film. Let me zoom out a little bit. Here we go. It was also in bloom. And then this one. This one wasn't in bloom in my last update on the dendrobiums. Absolutely beautiful. Also a favorite, the two more yellow ones. This is more of a greenish yellow. Not sure how my camera picks up the color. And it has a name. It's Dragon Jade number one, I think. I'm not completely sure. It's a little bit faded, the tag. Let's put it back, oops. And behind that, let's zoom in. This new spike on my Sherry Baby, open it up. Very, very large. So we have a lot of blooms in a little corner, <laughs> which I love. It does look right, uh, beautiful and right. <laughs> uh, Ruby doll. It's over here. There we go. But you can see it's going over now. It's going over. But still we have some blooms. Then down here, believe it or not, I still have this nobly blooming, being very beautiful as well. And she's also working on this huge new growth. So enough energy in there to do both. The rest is just stop blooming. These were really uh, putting up a new growth. I the, uh, do this, uh, these guys. Beautiful new growth there. But anyhow, the other one was in bloom. And of course, my Bicky. Oops. Oh, there we go. Hope this is better. Such a bright pink pink purplish color with a beautiful orange reddish lip there it's absolutely beautiful those colors go so well together and the bush the, the, yeah the little bush of blooms on it makes it absolutely very very pretty if you ask me and even down here we have some blooms on my victoria regina faded as you can see they are getting older so they are losing their color but yeah nonetheless still some blooms um let me quick check i think i have it all over here yes let's move let's move let's move mm, yeah i had these guys my this fan is done blooming but this one isn't look at those Absolutely stunning. Very strong spike this time. The spike is way bigger than last year. Last year I had two spikes, but it did break. Maybe you remember it, but this one is just standing up on its own. Not staked at all. With this amount of blooms, fairly heavy. So yeah, that is what we want, of course. They, they shouldn't be needing support, in my opinion. Before I forget, this is a very nice Tolumnia. I don't have a name for it. But it's very beautiful. Trying these in self-watering now. Yeah, very, very nice. Let's put those back over here. <laughs> there they are. So yeah, we have this beautiful fan. Authentic pink, this one is called. I love it. I absolutely love it. And my shooting star. It's not an orchid, I know, but these blooms are so pretty. So, so pretty. Uh, and yeah, that one is done. Still have some blooms over here on this fell. This is a quick update on the fells. Leodoro. Many people know this one, of course, and I completely understand why. It's beautiful, it has a wonderful fragrance. And blue, beautiful blooms. Then we have a bloom over here on this one. This one is, in a, is working on getting settled in the system, whoops. But yes, it still has a bloom. And this beautiful yellow one, also a very nice citric fragrance on this one. I have a name tag for it. Here we go. And some 
This is some type of Bellina, I believe. Very nice color, also nice fragrance, but very strong. Yeah, there you go. Malaysia. And this find is on sale, can't believe it. It's just a few euros I had to pay for this beauty. <laughs> and making a new spike. This one is done blooming. This one is still in bloom. Beautiful red one. And there we have one as well. Oh, I see a new bloom over here. This one decided to put up in a side shoot with two buds. Very nice. Beautiful white one. And more purple one over there. So that is it in the greenhouse. Let's have a look inside of my orchid room. Of course, <laughs> the peeping noise. Let's start over here. Look at this one. Absolutely beautiful. Do we have a name? Yeah, we have. There we go. So that should be this one. Next to it, this one still has a bloom open. And its neighbor is the same one, it's done blooming as you can see. <laughs> then up here we have this beautiful red one, also still in bloom. I'm sorry for the back background noise, but it's fairly warm, so I need to keep this uh, room fairly cool for these guys. So that they keep on blooming for us. Princess Diana over here, my biggest one. Absolutely stunning. And her neighbor decided to put up a few more blooms. A beautiful spike. And down here, this one opened up. Also very st stunning. The one next to it is this purple one. Still a bloom left. But most of them are starting to go. Her neighbor also decided to bloom again, second time this year, on this one. Very, very, very beautiful, and the fragrance is fantastic on these guys. Then I have my Odontoglossum naevium, has one spike on there, fairly large, and a little bit fresher one over here. Look at these beauties. Yeah, I really, really like this one as well. And then we have this beauty, oops, in bloom. It's a cross with the uh, Crispin, Crispin, I believe, or don't cross some Crispin. Let me quickly check, I think it's Crispo, I'm sorry. I don't cross Crispo, Halliai. That is this one. Fairly long spike, the plant itself is not that big yet. I don't have it that long and it's not very no, not that old. The spike, nonetheless, is quite beautiful. So let's quickly put it the tag back. And then I have this one in bloom here. Look at this. Oh, and I can't remember the name. Um, tiger tail, yes. <laughs> I had a glimpse of the tag. <laughs> Tiger tail, I think it is. I'm not completely sure it was bought as a no ID, but I think this might be the tiger tail. Very, very nice. And then something uh, very special as well is this one, I believe. I mean, look at it. It's a very nice spike, fairly young plant. Let me move it a little bit so we can see the blooms on this side. A bit better, look at that. And this, I believe, oh, is facing the other way. <laughs> it's called, I believe, whoops, Odontoglossum Black Tiger Star. It's a deep purple, but it almost looks black sometimes. It's a very, very deep purple, but the details is, is and the, those colors. Yeah, I'm really happy that about it. From Landsbergen. I'm not completely sure. Last year or the year before, but um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Then we have also some blooms, quite a few on this Mesdevelia. Some are done blooming. And um, this is the black velvet over here. 
that is this one and then look at this beauty the first this year my for my nelly eyelash this is the red velvet i'm not completely sure what my camera is doing on screen it really oversaturates the colors right now i apologize but it, reds and purples cameras do not really like i believe this is called the red velvet and like i said last year i this this name is completely right it's it is absolutely a red velvet color beautiful it looks so beautiful yeah i really really enjoy this one then moving over here before i forget it because it's on the floor also a, a on odontoglossum type i believe it's um autumn falls or something blossom falls from the incas and this is a part this I, I think this is the part that i did get from Inse, and this is the part i already have as you can see same plants these blooms are a little bit bigger because my plant is a little bit older i believe but they are the same and I thought I'm putting them in one pot, why not? And then over here, look at this beauty. And thanks, a very very big thanks to Orchid Quest who gave me the name for this one. Can you believe it? I have it for years and I kept saying I didn't couldn't find a name. Yes, I this spike did break because of the heavy blooms. But still they are blooming. So I think it didn't break completely luckily but yeah if you want to have this one because I did get the questions for this one and other blooming updates you should look for Maria Lara kitchen that is this one I'm pretty sure what several pictures it can be uh, the colors are very influenced by the light so the more light you get this type of color if you get it give it a little less light it will become more darker a dark purple and both pictures I saw on the internet, so I'm pretty sure that this is the uh, the right name for it. So yeah, it looks pretty, doesn't it? <laughs> very, very pretty. Then we have a little bit sad spy, but nonetheless it's there. On this buttercup something, I believe. Sunkissed buttercup, yes, here it is. Oncostellapsis. Sunkissed buttercup. Uh, I think it does bloom and last year, I, I, if I remember correctly, it had a way better spike. I think I didn't give this as much light as it likes. So uh, that's why it's now near the window. But yeah, for this spike it's a little bit too late. It's just a small spike, but nonetheless the blooms are so pretty. Such a nice orange color on them. At least I think. <laughs> And somewhere in here we have the butterflies, <laughs> like Cycopsis, butterfly, blooming, and we have an older one over here, as you can see, this one is done, this is fairly, uh, fairly looking okay, fairly fresh, such a, uh, I'm sorry for the leaves in the way, <laughs> such a strange uh, shaped flower, but beautiful nonetheless, this purple one is done blooming obviously, this isn't also a very pretty one. I did get it with a name, but I think it's mislabeled. It's coming from uh, Equigenra, and it should be this one, but it's, I don't believe it is. But I'm not completely sure. It could be a seedling, a different outcome than a show, bloom-wise, on the on on the website. I'm not completely sure, but I, 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 the blooms are very small for this cross, I believe. And I, I would think that it would give more of the white of one of the parents, but it's not always the case, of course. Not completely sure. Anyhow, it's nice. It's a nice uh, plant. Then this one. This one just opening up. Well, first of all, maybe you see it already, but the, the first buds are still closed and then it opened up the end of the spike. Normally it's the other way around. I think it has to do with the branching, it just needed a little bit more energy and meanwhile it started to bloom on these. But this, these colors are so pretty, if you ask me, I really love it and it has a beautiful fragrance, very nice, kind of subtle, sweet fragrance, candy-like. But that yellow, the, the creamy yellow, the, the yellow center and then that brownie color on the sepals and petals, yeah, I definitely like it. 
I have no name for it. So if you recognize it, please let me know. But uh, yeah, yeah, I really, really enjoy it. And a very nice plant. It's become a very, very uh, nice size to it. So we have a new growth here. This is also a very nice uh, new bulb, just maturing. And we have another one over here. So this one, two, three, four new growths. And this might start bloom as well someday. It's now uh, reaching the majority, uh, mature state, majority, <laughs> mature state. So it's a nice bulb. But yeah, that is this one. Then up here, you probably already guessed it. <laughs> it's still in bloom. Pinocchio Alba. Two blooms this time. If I was filming this a few days earlier, it had three on them. But yeah. So that is this one beautiful I think so let me quickly turn around so well, I'm not too quick I don't want to make you dizzy uh, I think I covered them all yeah we heard that before <laughs> so yeah I think we have them guys so there was quite an amount and I'm really happy with them I, I enjoy it so much these blooms I hope you do too because this is probably my most favorite video to film Every month, such a good excuse to film these beautiful blooms. Absolutely stunning. There's so many variety. And this is what we all uh, do it for, I think. All our efforts to get these beautiful blooms. As usual, you guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>